Hey guys, I'm about to buy TV. If you're new here, please just like, share, subscribe to my channel. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to who is God, what is God. Um, guys, this is Zaki Nike, but I can't really pronounce the other name. Guys, this video is actually sponsored by Romy, guys. They made this video possible, guys. They're doing a Black Friday and a Cyber Monday, guys. They're going to get like 80% off any of the products you purchase right now and you're going to get 15 percent off using my promo code guys it's a huge offer so i think you should take it guys guys let's go straight into this my question first question i have few questions to ask who is god brother has a question who is god and this is the same question that was asked by the christians to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he was, what should I answer? We can keep on speaking about God. Then the revelation came. Surah Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1 to 4. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Say he is Allah one and only. Allah hu samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yalid, walam yulad. He begets not, nor is begotten. Walam yakul lahu kufana. There is nothing like him. This is a four-line definition of Almighty God given in the Quran. Any candidate you say is Almighty God, if that candidate fits in this four-line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that candidate as God. The first is Kul Hu Allah Ahad. Say it's Allah one and only. Number two, Allah Hu Samad. Allah the absolute and eternal. Lam yulid wa lam yulad. He begets not, nor is he begotten. Walam yakul la kufana. There's nothing like him. This is the four line definition of Almighty God. Whoever you worship and say is God. If he fits in this four line definition, we Muslims have got no objection in accepting that person as God. Hope that. The soul is sacred for people, the body is filthy. How is it possible? Yes, that's what we've been doing, isn't it so? Saying God is sacred, creation is filthy. How is it possible? Your very… the very thought of God occurred to you only because you saw creation, isn't it? When you were born and you opened your eyes, you looked around, so much creation. Before you came here, so much has happened, obviously you did not create it. So you thought, there must be a creator. This is how you come to the creator, isn't it? The moment you thought there must be a creator, because you are in a human form, you thought it must be a big man. A small man like me cannot do all this, it must be a big man. Just two hands, how can it do so much creation? must be eight hands, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it so? If you were a buffalo, you would be really thinking, God is a huge buffalo. Isn't it so? Yes or no? <laughs> you go and ask a buffalo and see, a buffalo will insist, God is a huge buffalo, maybe four horns. <laughs> you know Idi Amin? You heard of Idi Amin? The Uganda man? Idi Amin declared, God is black. I agree with him. If a white man can have a white God, why can't a black man have a black God? But both those people are confused. We know God is brown. <laughs> because he visited us, you know. <laughs> Some time ago, I was talking to a group of people in Nashville in Tennessee and I was telling them a joke. In the joke, I just referred to God as Him. Immediately a few ladies stood up. Do you believe God is a man? I knew where it's going. I said, see, I <laughs> See, I'm only telling you a joke. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You said Him. Do you believe God is a man? They take the jokes very seriously. <laughs> 
now women are arguing god could be a woman such problems exist only in those cultures in india we have man god we have woman god we have cow god we have monkey god we have everything every kind crawling one creeping one flying one because we foresaw all the problems of the future <laughs> see when man was the most powerful force on the planet man was naturally god now women are also gaining in their power so women are questioning why why can't it be a woman so tomorrow suppose dogs gain lot of power which they're gaining so dogs will ask why not a dog god actually the spelling also is close you know <laughs> he seem to be closer than you isn't it so your idea of god is just an ex an exaggerated version of yourself isn't it your idea of god is just an exaggerated version of yourself see you are still not able to define yourself isn't it whatever definition you put on yourself is not correct any kind of definition you put on you it is not enough to describe this one when this small piece of creation is like this the source of creation how are you going to put a definition on it you cannot define it you cannot understand it you can only dissolve into it you can experience it you can never know it you can't make knowledge out of it whatever you knowledge have knowledge you have about god is just pure nonsense cultural nonsense depending upon which kind of culture you are in that kind of god you have isn't it it can only be experienced experience does not mean you can eat it or you can grasp it no you can experience only by dissolving in it there is no other way so we are just looking for methods of dissolution so that we can experience something far bigger than ourselves hmm guys this uh, this is something that was like like i know we need to experience god but like the way he said it is kind of crazy like I understood what you were saying and I kind of love it because everyone feels we supposed to worship something and some people just want to worship what they feel is right and you get people him saying you can't actually grasp the knowledge of God you need to experience it it's just on a whole new level like I feel we we Christians we actually understand this like I understand this like I understand the fact that you can't actually compare God to a human mind you, you you won't get anything meaningful out of it you need to experience him by connecting with him and it's actually beautiful you can't connect with God through praying so that's why we pray I think that's the reason guys guys please just like share subscribe to my channel leave your thoughts in the description below and tell me what you feel about this video guys don't forget guys visit for me they make this video possible We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.